outside and give you a live look over Ann Arbor on this early Sunday morning. And boy, you look close. You've got a, some snow there on yeah. the roads. Really, no matter where you are, a lot of people dealing with, boy, I mean, the snow, the sleet, the ice, right. rain, and people had already been dealing with flooding even more. I know with all the wet weather we had yesterday, of course, the freezing now. So all that wet pavement that haven't mm -hmm. been treated or salted is going to freeze or already has. So just be careful heading out this morning. This was such a winter storm sprawling from the deep south, bringing severe weather to parts of Alabama, even tornadoes. And then, of course, record high temperatures in the northeast and then the heavy rain and icing in the central plains to the Great Lakes. Now we're left with one warning. So we are still looking at a flood warning until 1130 this morning for Washington. Wayne and Macomb County simply because we've had so much runoff with the heavy record rainfall yesterday that it continues and we're seeing some of those waters still kind of rising cresting and then they'll start to drop as we go through the latter part of the day. Yesterday we had over two inches of rain reported at Detroit Metro Airport. The previous record on January 11th yesterday was under an inch back in 1905 and it broke the January record rainfall ever reported in January. The old record was just over an inch and three quarter back in 1908 and that was on January 12th. Actually that record was set today. So very impressive, unfortunate situation for us to have all of that rain from yesterday. Roads are icy, in some cases snow covered, so it can be a bit deceiving. Just take your time traveling. We will be drying out. The winds will be diminishing through the morning hours. Temperatures stay below freezing today. We're back into the 40s tomorrow, so we'll start to see improvement. Even some sunshine will help out today, but even more so as our temperatures start to warm tomorrow, we'll be back again quickly into the 40s. But watching this pulling away at this point, we'll be left with some cloud cover at times as we go through the morning hours. We're seeing that right now, but at least we're not seeing any snow across the area, freezing rain or rain. Temperatures are cold, a lot colder than yesterday. We're at 20 degrees in Pontiac and Howell as well, 24 degrees downtown, Monroe at 26 degrees. So these temperatures well below freezing and with the winds, of course, impacting our winter Wind chill temperature winds right now 10 to 20 in some cases up to 18 in Pontiac 10 downtown but winds will continue to lighten up through the course of the morning hours into the afternoon. And you can see our forecast wind gust really drops off, especially afternoon today becomes very light. Now our wind chill will be an issue, so we're going to stay in the teens through the morning, 20s by the afternoon, so it does stay cold, but the area of low pressure is now marching eastward. Highs for us around 30. Pittsburgh was in the 70s yesterday, in the 40s today, so that cold front is really going to affect the northeast as it moves away from us. We'll start to recover with our temperatures. So our hour by hour forecast takes us through a nice quiet day today. Tonight, there is a system that'll pass just off to our north, and as it does, it may bring just enough moisture north of I-69 for a snow shower or maybe even some patchy drizzle or freezing drizzle across the area. Tough to pick up on radar, something we'll be watching for tonight. But 30 for a high today, little sunshine, winds decrease, 27 for a low tonight, and then temperatures will start to rise by daybreak. 41 the high tomorrow, 46 on Tuesday, and then that'll set the the stage for rain Wednesday and then falling temperatures on Thursday. Again, this is no change from December. Our temperatures really up and